Hi everyone. Good evening. In this video, we can learn and discuss some important and experienced interview based question in RBA perspective. When we talk about process, so what is process? Or is what about the process design document in RBA perspective? when we talk about process suppose you are your project you are in project ABC so in this project we may have multiple process For example, you are working for the client, American, so this is the project, this is the American Express project, so inside the project you may have multiple process which means process one is calculating the best calculating the banking interest This may be a process one. So process two may be to get complete user data. So this type of Suppose you have two process or three process. So every process is part of project. So a project has multiple process. Suppose in my experience, in a project we have up to ten to 15 process we can handle so every process has individual developer see every process has individual developers who work and complete the and complete the RPA development so how the process design doc will look like so in process design document what are the applications and 
attraction to the particular process what about the versions of the applications how process will look like as is and to be process which means as is a how previous automation of previous system looks like to be how automation will change this process so these are the details will be available in process design okay then we can move for next question what are all the documents have you prepared for your project so it's really need to prepare all the documents for a developer no the answer is no the thing is solution design document will be prepared by technical architect DDD should be taken. DDD should be created by process analyst. What are the other documents? Object design document, process design document. So whatever it is, if it is in process, process analyst object, the object must be created by Excel. How the object will looks like, like uh, what are the controls? How it will be looks like? Everything will be. Object design. So, no need to create any documents by developer. Developer has to consume, and developer has to work in RPA based on the documents which was provided by team. And one more thing. But clarification document or understanding document UD must to be created by developer created by developer in RP world. So this is all. Okay, we can move for next question. How your project flow looks like? Suppose you are working on your particular project. How the project flow will looks like? Suppose you are working on banking project. Of course, so in the process. 
because how you are look, working on it and the how the pro project flow looks like. You can see how the flow looks like. So process will start. Login. Once the login screen is completed, your flow will go into the user details screen. After that. Once the user details screen has completed, the flow will check. Then statement. So this is the example how your project flow or project process flow will looks like suppose it is in banking domain so once the login is completed so you have to provide login user id and credentials so once it is completed it will take to the home screen that is user retail screen once the home screen come so you have the you have the multiple options like uh, bank statement or uh, banking funds transfer transfer and after that it will move to next once fund transfer is completed the transaction is completed or transaction is failure message will come or else notification notification so so just the way our flow will continue this is the process flow looks like and it, it is not so for RPA it is it is a simple flow but it has to be with conditions if fund transfer is completed the notification if any failures will happen then then another notification will completion some notification will come will will send by bot if it is not completed it is in exception stage so bot will send some other notification to process owner so these type of things will include in process flow or project flow so this is the way flow will continuously run up to the end. Okay guys, let's see. Let's see some more questions, more learnings in our next video. Thank you guys, thanks for watching.